hello guys welcome back to uh, class so today we'll be dealing about probability sampling uh, we have already covered the sampling designs the basics so you can have a look on the um, previous session which was uh, sampling designs the probability and non probability uh, it was just the basics uh, that the designs name not much details about it today let's see uh, much details about the probability sampling and in the next video i'll be covering non-probability okay so probability sampling as the name suggested all are equal so the equal chance for being in the study is same for every participant so always probability sampling is a better one compared to non-probability so let's see what is um, inside probability sampling so we know already the techniques are random sampling systematic stratified cluster and multi-stage so random sampling as the name suggested we just took samples randomly from the total population so each person in the sample frame so sample frame and sample uh, sample is different sample frame is the population from which the sample is being drawn okay so uh, our reference population suppose uh, just take an example a dental college uh, and we are doing a study on dental students okay so the entire dental students will be our reference population sampling frame will be the colleges or the college where the study is being happened and the sample will be the actual number of people where the study is going to actually happen so it will come come reduce and reduce and reduce at least the least number will be the sample little more will be the sampling frame and the target sample will be the uh, most bigger population okay. so the target population will be the all the dental students in um, could be a state could be our country like that sampling frame will be the uh, colleges or the college where the study is going to happen and sample will be the number of students or the total people where the study is going actually happen so random sampling is we take people from sampling frame by using two methods okay so that methods are one is lottery method and another one is table of random numbers so it will be like this these 12 people are there so we take randomly so we get 2 5 8 10 by randomly we are taking so all the 12 participants have the chance of being this four so this can be done by two methods one is lottery and another one is table of random numbers lottery methods we know how the lottery is going to work because the people who are taking lottery will be thinking that he will get the prize so every person who is taking lottery will have a chance to get the prize so that is why uh, all are taking the lottery the same way we put uh, all the participants name in a big bin or big a container and we take how much sample we need so all the names are in the list all the names are in that particular box so all have equal chance of being the sample so we take how much sample we need we take from that box table of random numbers uh, this lottery number can be done when the population is finite so we have 100 people and we need to take 10 means we can use this suppose we have on 10,000 people and we need to take 100 from 10,000 it will be very difficult because we need to make chits or we need to make uh, numbers 10,000 numbers and we need to put in this box that is quite different and quite is quite difficult so what we do that time is we use table of random number technique so this is a very uh, age old technique nowadays this is not being used anymore because computers have overtaken this method so table of random numbers is just like you can see the numbers usually it will be five digit numbers the one to nine numbers it will be randomly put in this type columns and rows so each uh, series will be having five digits that is one two three four five it will be either from zero to one uh, any random sequence it will be put okay so there are uh, some scientists so i hope that is clear uh, the rows and columns will be there each series will be of five numbers and that will be 
any uh, order between 0 to 9 now it is 6 1 4 2 4 first 2 0 4 1 9 so it can be any number usually it will be 5 series 5 number series it will be put in columns uh, and rows and it can go up to 4 pages now this is just part of a big data big data set it is commonly uh, used um, so lottery method I was saying if you want to take 50 uh, 5 students out of 50 we should put uh, cheats for 5 50 and we take we mix up and take the 5 so all 50 had a chance to uh, being in the study at least only 5 people will get the chance but still 50 had a chance that is probability all are equal at the beginning beginning of this uh, technique so this table of random numbers as I shown this is uh, another part of that big uh, series there are many uh, scientists like Tippett, Yates, Fishers have made this uh, random uh, numbers charts it go up to four five pages so we can take any part of uh, that that table number series and we can use accordingly so i'll just give an example so we'll get an idea so we want to take 10 units that is 10 is our sample size okay from uh, 5000 so we have 5000 people and we need to take 10 from 5000 the lottery method is not possible so uh, this uh, 10 should be taken between uh, 3000 to 8000 so total we have uh, some 20 25000 people so suppose we are taking 10 people between uh, 3000 and 8000 so what we are doing is we take this random number and we see the numbers which are coming between 3001 to 8000 okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so many numbers are coming like this so what we are doing is so we take this uh, part of um, the table number series then we'll see we need 3001 to 8000 10 units so we go like this we take a number this is less than 3000 this is fine this is fine this is more than 8000 this is less than 8000 so we go select accordingly in another way we can select if it is in 300 to 800 we have to select 10 people from 300 to 800 we can use the first three letter okay 300 to 800 so this can be taken 664 399 979 so if it is uh, 30 to 80 again we can take the first two digits so what was the total sample we go like this so usually it will be five number series now we have taken four number series okay so it depends on the total sample we needed if it is uh, it if, if it is uh, like uh, 100 people and if it has to be done between 3000 and 8000 or between two certain numbers we have to use that particular number series hope that is clear so 3001 to 8000 we needed 10 people and we took numbers between that particular 3001 to 8000 and we have selected the series you can see that all the numbers are between 3001 and 8000 and once we get our sample the 10 once we reach 10 we can stop it because again people are here three this is also a number this is also a number this this is all between 3000 8000 but we started from here we go like this we go like this we always say we once we reach here we got our 10 samples so we stop it there okay that is table of random numbers it is a little bit confusing but nowadays it is not using computers are mm, into action computer uh, automatically selects random numbers okay next one is systemic random sampling this is like we go in a systematic fashion so suppose we needed uh, 100 people and we needed to take it from 1200 okay so what we do is we divide the sam we find out the sampling interval that is total sample divided by sample size that is we get 12 okay next our sampling interval is 12 so every 12 person we select okay so that is first person will be the number 12 then 24 36 
4860 it goes till last it reaches in 1190 around so we are giving chance for everyone but we are going in a systematic way so we go like this it is suppose so another example every third person we started from 2 then 5 then 8 then 11 then goes to 14 17 like that we go in a systematic way but first we need to find out this sampling interval that is total population divided by sample size uh, we get sampling interval okay that is very easy uh, but still it maintains the equality next one is stratified random sampling uh, suppose uh, this random sampling though it has the equal sense for every student or every participant to be in the study but sometimes it may not happen as we uh, planned because if you are taking a student population when do when we do it has around 50 um, boys and 50 girls when we do uh, random sampling sometimes we get all the 50 from or if suppose our sample size is 10 we get all the 10 from boys side so we lost the representation of uh, girls so in such scenario if we have a heterogeneous group that is various number of homogeneous groups are mixed we need to go for a stratified sampling that is each subpopulation is known as strata that is heterogeneous our classroom will be boys girls uh, homogeneous group if you are thinking about age it will be again a uh, different age groups if you're thinking about a college and, and uh, classroom the class itself become a homogeneous group so it it changes in every context what is heterogeneous and what is homogeneous based on our objective of the study so urban rural residents another homogeneous group so we go to strata so what we do is we have 12 people and we need four uh, sample so we what we do is we make the first three then this three then this three then this three as different strata and we take one from each strata okay so suppose random sampling we might get all uh, four from here one ten twelve and two and we might lose this sometimes in heterogeneous group it shouldn't be happening so we do stratification of a heterogeneous group and made into homogeneous strata and we take randomly from each homogeneous group so this will be randomization okay random sampling so from these three i will take one from this three i will take one this three this three so the random sampling will be there in every stage okay even is systematic sampling also the random sampling was there when we find out our sampling interval that is we need to take one person that is 1 to 12 that is 12 is 12 was our sampling interval so we taken 1 to 12 we can take 1 we can take 12 but it should be random sampling so suppose 1 to 12 again we made to a lottery method and we take 6 okay so every sixth person will be taken so it will be 6 18 30 42 54 66 like that it goes on so random sampling will be there in every uh, design only thing is it uh, the way we uh, implement is little bit different so, so that is about systematic and stratified sampling uh, next is the last one cluster sampling cluster sampling when we go for a bigger uh, geographical area we might need to do uh, clustering okay it's not stratification clustering so usually uh, we have one stage two stage and multi-stage sampling okay it is almost same but little bit different one stage is we have to uh, make all the clusters of the population in the list okay so suppose we are taking uh, a study in our uh, district okay so we are making uh, the panchayat as clusters and we put all the clusters into our list okay then we take then we take uh, then we do random sampling we have all the clusters that is all the panchayat in that district then we do simple random sampling so we get some five panchayat and we take all the elements from this five panchayats okay that is one stage first we make clusters that is panchayat this is scenario panchayat in one district then we randomly select few panchayat and all the members is panchayat will be included in the study 
if suppose we have a smaller geographical area we can go for this one stage two stages we list all the clusters in the population first select the clusters usually by simple random and the units in the second cluster or first stage are then sampled in the second stage again by simple random suppose we are doing the study in kerala state what we do is first we make the clusters as district so we have 14 districts so we select simple random sampling we do simple random sampling and select some uh, five or six um, district that is our first stage second stage again random sampling is done okay so every district had a chance so then what we do in first stage we select all the members from this four or five district if it was a first stage because we are taken uh, some panjayats from one district and we are taken all the members from those panjayats but since it is a bigger population uh, we cannot do uh, that much uh, we cannot take that much big sample so what we do is we select uh, units that is participants from the first stage clusters to the second stage okay so we select if suppose we needed uh, uh, 10,000 or 1 lakh uh, people what we do is we select these people from the first stage district so first stage district will not be taken entirely rather than we do again random sampling on the district that is first stage unit so the second stage unit will be randomly sampled units from the first stage whereas in one stage uh, cluster sampling the entire unit will be taken after the uh, first stage random sampling okay, here after the random sampling again there will be one more random sampling of the first unit then we'll get the sample we needed if, suppose if it is a very big population like a country so it is not at all possible to do one stage or two stage so here it comes the states so <coughs> sorry we have to do a multi-stage of uh, random sampling so first we have to select the states level one we have to randomly uh, select uh, the districts with a representative of each uh, state some district will take again we do the sampling we uh, select some panchayats again we select some towns or uh, municipalities so every stage we keep make sure that uh, we keep a random sampling technique so that it maintains that equality principle okay so multi stage will be on a bigger population very bigger population like crores of people two stage and one stage will be on lesser population one stage is just like very small population of a district or something so that's all about probability sampling uh, so we can just have a recap probability sampling basic principle is equality all are equal like all have equal chance to be in the study random sampling systematic stratified cluster the multi-stage same comes under cluster random sampling is just like we are putting into a chit so anyone can have that uh, participant of sample so if it is a very finite number very less number we can do lottery method if it is a random number we have to go for a uh, random number technique uh, that is uh, random uh, tables are there tippet c8 fisher tables so such tables uh, we need to go for in a series sequence like uh, we start from left we go on then we reach the right then we'll come back to the left and we start from left and go here until we reach the uh, desired sample if it is 10 we can stop here so it depends on the uh, sample where to be taken from here it is 3000 to 8000 so that's why we are taken uh, 10 people between this number if it is 20 again we can start from here and we can go on selecting it so it will be like a series of numbers sometimes it will be four mostly it will be <coughs> by series between 0 to 1 and it will be put in x and y axis that is rows and columns uh, if a sample um, frame that is the total sample if it is 10 has to be taken from 100 we can uh, select the first three if it has to be selected from uh, thousands we can select the first four if it is uh, 10,000 region uh, we can go for um, 10,000 so it is anymore using it is uh, replaced by computer systematic means there will be sampling interval so sampling interval will be repeated 
so if it is uh, random sampling will be done at sampling interval that is 12 is a sampling interval so we do uh, random sampling for the 12 numbers and we get some 6 7 8 whatever so we go in that sequence if it is 6 so we repeat the sampling interval 12 12 12 so 18 30 42 so systematic means we have to uh, do this uh, systematic way stratified means we have to uh, divide the heterogeneous into homogeneous population that is making strata the making of strata is depends upon your objective it can be gender it can be age it can be class wise it can be college wise so it depends upon your um, objective of your study okay so then uh, after selecting strata you have to do the simple random sampling in each strata cluster sampling i explained it in detail it is based on the area stage two stage multi-stage every stage we have to follow the uh, random sampling technique until we get the enough sample okay that's about all about the probability sampling technique it is uh, way better than the non-probability because it follows the principle of equality thank you i'll come up with non-probability sampling in next class thank you